We're now going to take a look at an incident from the Swans power game. Craig Bird slips over the ball. Kay Mitchell from Port Adelaide comes in over the top. Now, was Craig Bird actually taken high or did he take out Mitchell's legs here? We think it's a correct free kick yep. to Craig Bird. Um, he has no intention to go to ground and take out the knees of, uh, of Mitchell. And as we can see, Craig actually slips. Yeah. And then Mitchell falls on top of him accidentally. But we still need to protect the person, in this case Craig, who got the high tackle and push in the back. So if it actually slid in and then taken out his knees, then it would have been a free kick. That's a deliberate action yep. by Craig. So therefore, it would be a free kick to Mitchell if he got contacted below the knees. All right. Now, in the same game, we had a decision involving Port Adelaide's Jake Need, who was taken high as he had a shot for goal. Now, Ray Chamberlain was the closest umpire to the incident and actually missed this one, but it was picked up by the central umpire, which is good news, and I think we'll yeah. see um, Ray Chamberlain give the thumbs up there in a second. Yeah, I mean, this is terrific umpiring by um, Brett Roseby in, in the mid zone here. What happens is that there's a, a clear free kick there. Um, Ray doesn't see it the way that the mid zone sees yep. it. And the mid-zone umpire, in this case Brett, says it's a high tackle. And that's what we've been encouraging. We want all free kicks paid. So uh, we don't want that to be missed at all. And it was really well done. Ah, brilliant. And another incident from the Swans power game. Now this one, Buddy Franklin and Jack Homsch in a marking contest. Now to me it looks like Buddy has clearly pushed him squarely in the back. He runs on, kicks the goal. Should this have been a free kick to Port Adelaide? There's no doubt about it. This should have been a free kick. And uh, this is the reverse of what we just talked about. Yeah. You know, once again, Ray Ray's, Ray's caught in a front-on position, so actually doesn't see the push in the back. But right. what we see there circled is Lee Fisher at centre-half forward, who we think is in a really good position to pay the free kick. And uh, we, we discussed this at coaching last, no last night, that incidents that are as clear as this need to be paid by a umpire, and, and we need to work on that and get better. So in that situation, did Lee miss it, or he wasn't 100% sure? Uh, Lee missed it. He, he saw it, but just didn't have the confidence in able to, to blow the, uh, the decision from his position. Okay.